Biden administration is pushing to renew a nuclear agreement with the Russians. Today, Russian officials said they welcome the news. It's called the New Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, or New START. It's set to expire in a few weeks. At its core, New START regulates and limits how many nuclear weapons each country can have. The Biden White House seeking a five-year extension. On other matters, relations with Moscow are, well, tense. The Washington Post reports President Biden will ask his director of national intelligence to review Russia's interference in the 2020 election, the massive hack of America's top agencies blamed on Russia, and the recent arrest of the Russian opposition leader, Alexei Navalny. Vladimir Putin and President Biden have met on the world stage before when Mr. Biden served as vice president. His view of Putin? Well, he calls him a KGB thug. Michael McFaul now former U.S. ambassador to Russia. Mr. Ambassador, thanks for being here. Let's start with this nuclear treaty. Critics argue that five years is too long, that that gives up some of our leverage. What do you think? Well, I disagree with that. I know the critics are from the Trump administration, and they had that leverage for four <laughs> years, and they didn't do anything with it. Uh, my own view, I was part of the team that helped to negotiate this treaty back when I worked in the Obama administration. And uh, its expiration makes the United States worse off for the simple fact that we would lose our verification ability to look inside and look at Russia's nuclear arsenal. Remember, Ronald Reagan used to say, trust but verify. I say, don't trust, only verify. And the New START Treaty allows us to do this. I think, it should, I think it's a right decision by the new Biden team to extend it. Michael, President Biden promised a a tough response against Russia for hacking America's top agencies. We haven't seen much of any response yet. What, what might a Biden response look like? Just more sanctions or something more? Well, he has promised that. You're right. And they also promised, by the way, a reaction to the arrest of Alexei Navalny, as you just mentioned. Uh, he, uh, to remind everybody, he was poisoned, I think, uh, by the Russian government. Uh, he flew to Germany to, to recuperate, and then he just came back last weekend, and they arrested him again. Uh, and the Biden team, uh, both in the transition and already, has said there's going to be tough measures. I think that the, the response will likely be sanctions, and here's the question. The easy thing to do is to sanction a bunch of no-name colonels, you know, FSB, the, the successor group to the KGB, uh, and then check the box. The more bold move would be to sanction some of those that enable the Putin regime, including some of the economic oligarchs that support Putin. That, I think, is the real choice facing does, the Biden right now. Does President Biden have that in him? That's, that's, that's a big move with a lot of consequences. Correct. That, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I do know what his views of Mr. Putin are. That You just showed that photo of their last meeting. I was at that meeting, by the way, in March 2011. I don't know if he wants to expend the political capital in getting tougher with Russia and Putin in particular, when, remember, he's got a giant list of other high priorities on his list, first and foremost, his domestic uh, set of issues. That, but that's the test. I think you can walk and chew gum at the same time. I think you should be able to do both at the same time, but we'll have to wait and see what they choose to do. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.